Hello, and thank you for joining another Front Insider Tip. So this one is all about front rules. Now, rules in front, they're an amazing thing. They let us automate certain parts of our workflows so that we can spend more time connecting with our customers and leaving greater impact. We think that rules are so powerful that we wanted to make sure you knew exactly where to start when creating a new rule and also what to automate. And that's why we just released the Front Rules Library. So if you're an admin, head on over to your company settings. And from there, we'll choose rules underneath the team that we want to create a rule for. You'll see a new tab called Rules Library. And this is where it's at. This is where, it, this is where everything's happening. So here's where you'll find more than two dozen ready to customize templates that you can start using today. And more automation ultimately means an increase of your team's impact. So whether you're trying to ensure response times with an SLA or route messages automatically to the right person and so much more, you can now use these templates to make sure that you're setting your rules up for success. Let's see what one of those looks like. So here's a scenario. Maybe all messages that come in that have the word billing associated with them, we want them to go to a specific person. And that person is Adina. So that's an assignment rule. So let's click on assign. And we know that it's based off of a keyword. That word is billing. So I'll choose assign based on keyword. And now we can build the rule. So we'll call it billing. It's going to Adina as mentioned. And we already have the conditions preset for us here. So it's on an inbound message. And it's if the body or the subject contain that word billing. You can choose specific inboxes that the conversation is located in. And then we can automatically assign it. And it's easy as that. Now, any conversation that has that keyword billing in those inboxes will automatically be assigned to Adina. Okay, so let's look at one more for good measure. Let's say you have a group of customers that you call your VIPs, and you want to make sure that anytime one of those customers reaches out, it automatically gets moved to a VIP inbox. That sounds like a move rule to me. And in this case, it's going to be move based on sender. So here we go. We're going to build this rule, but a lot of it's already been pre-populated for us. So we just need to add the specifics. So let's say one of those VIP customers is Disney. We'll call it the Disney VIP rule. And we already know it's going to be on inbound message, the from contains, and it's best practice here to put the domain name. And then which inboxes are we targeting here? So we'll say the customer success inbox. And where are we moving it, finally? The VIP client inbox is mentioned. Click create, and there you have it. Anytime a customer uh, or a, a, a sender, rather, from Disney.com reaches out to the customer success inbox, it'll automatically be moved to that VIP client folder. So I really hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to success at frontapp.com. Now go make some rules. We'll see you next time. So I